सो वॉट्स गोइंग गॉन यूट्यूब माई नेम इज़ आयुष एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल द इंडियन डेव सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी गो नॉट टॉक अबाउट द रिएक्ट हुक दैट इज यूज स्टेट सो इफ यू गाइज डोंट हैव एनी अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट लाइक वॉट इज रिएक्ट हुक और द बेसिक रिएक्ट हुक दैट इज यूज स्टेट देन यू मस्ट गो एंड वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ रिएक्ट हुक्स एंड ऑल द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग्स ऑफ यूज स्टेट so you guys can go there and watch that video then we can definitely jump on to this use effect and if you know about that then we are like pretty fine to jump on to this use effect so let's begin before that like i am um, i just want to tell that this uh, ui that is being rendered on this browser is completely dependent on this functional component that is app component so let me explain about this uh, like functional component i am just having some kind of text that uh, this use effect react hook was like introduced in react version 16.8 that was a major release for uh, like react hooks so here i want to like list out some of the things like i want to list out users i want to list out photos i want to list out some to do's so for that i am maintaining a state for listing type and that listing type is being rendered here like current listing that is users as i have initialized this use state uh, that is listing type with users so whenever i click on any of the button then then the listing type is getting changed so let me ask a question that inside the class based component we used to have some life cycle react hooks that is life cycle methods so like what if i want to like implement such kind of things inside a functional component then like react provided us a react hook that is use effect yeah it's it's a pretty good question that what if i want to like uh, do some stuff uh, when the component is being rendered or just uh, mounted to the uh, to the dom then we definitely have this uh, with the help of this use effect react hook so let me define the definition of this use effect that how we can use this so i'm using here this react hook just to console some data so that we can get a call whenever the this life cycle method triggers so i'm just writing here that uh, use effect triggered triggered now let's see like uh, i need to go into the like console of this browser and let's see like i need to remove this and i'm reloading this page now here you can see that use effect triggered on only once like whenever the like component mounted this use effect got a call or we got a call back on this method and the console log is here inside this console and now let's see like i'm clicking on this button and you can see that the number of those logs are increasing so the thing is use effect will get a call back on this method whenever there is any there is any changes inside the state or we can say for every rendering of this component like if i am updating this these state and the component is being re-rendered for this like listing type and hence we are getting a call back on this use effect now let's see like how we can use this uh, method to like uh, to use this as the like life cycle method for this functional component like i just wanted to tell you guys that this use effect method receives two parameters first one is the callback method where we going to have we going to receive the callbacks whenever uh, the uh, the effect is there so and the second uh, parameter is an array then like let me define here like inside this array i am defining this listing type so if i define anything in the second parameter then it means that console.log will trigger only when this listing type changes like let me see let me refresh this so i have refreshed so whenever i click on this definitely my listing type is getting changed and hence this console log is like triggering so whenever my listing type is changing then the console log is there inside the browser so what if like i need to use it as composite did mount 
so for that like i just wanted to wanted to trigger this method only once so for that like i if i define anything constant that will not change throughout this like component then i will receive the callback here only once like let me let me test here so i'm i'm refreshing the page so here you can see use effect trigger so for the very first time when the component rendered we can say at the time of like component did mount whenever the component mounted inside this dom so now let's see i'm clicking here on the buttons and the listing type is getting changed but i'm not receiving any callbacks inside that uh, use effect method so the reason is very very clear that one is not going to change so we can use this method use effect as per our need like i can use this for our like a componented mount so for that like i need not to define here anything like it's an empty array and empty array will never change so it will have the same thing like if i click on these the component is being re-rendered but the callback on this use effect was only once so we can use that uh, use this thing as like our Componented mount callback. So what if like I need to I need to refresh or I need to refresh some listing. So for that uh, let me use some placeholders so like uh, here I am having This this JSON placeholder API which will return like if I Copy here the users should it should like return the users let me see inside this console mm -hmm. so whenever uh, like my component mounted it returns like the 10 users from this particular api now i just wanted to like get this result whenever my listing type changes then i just need to put this listing type here and i don't want to like get this like users all the time i just wanted to get the stuff according to my listing type so i'm just changing this string to the backticks and i will use this listing type inside my apis inside my apis now let's see how it's gonna work so initially the and the listing type was users so i am having the list of users and as i have defined the listing type here inside the use effect so whenever my like listing type is getting updated the react hook will be triggered that is use effect and we will receive the another json like if i click on this photos then i'm, I'm gonna receive the photos so i have received around 5000 photos in this api i have received 5000 photos what if I need some to do's so I have received 200 uh, to do's from this API JSON placeholder so I think like uh, just to tell that uh, JSON placeholder is a API that we, we can use at the time of development if we need to play around some stuff then it's pretty useful so what if like I click again on this to do's then you will not see any like any I'm clicking on to do's but there is no callback on this use effect because listing type is not getting changed it was to do's and whatever like I am clicking on this to do's then the listing type remains the same but if I click on photos then I'm gonna receive the update now I click on photos multiple times but there will be no callback on this effect so like it's all up to you that how you want to use this react hook use effect as per your need now the question is about like uh, if i want to clear up some stuff that is like the lifecycle method component will unmount so how we gonna achieve this let's see like i am i'm removing this fetch component and the same thing like i i was having earlier that is the consoles so i'm like writing here that component mounted so for, what, for the very first time I have received component mounted and as I am having this blank array inside the 
second parameter of this method and hence I am not receiving any updates on this use effect method now what if I need to like achieve some clear up method so we can define that clear up method or we can say component will unmount method uh, like a lifecycle method so we can simply define the code snippet here like uh, here I am defining unmounted so here like uh, component is mounted but you will not uh, like uh, like we will not able to see this uh, console log as like if I refresh this component then the console will also like clear up so for that like let me show you guys that how it's work so like I'm using this effect method you using this use effect react hook depending on the listing type whenever this listing type changes then I'm gonna receive that callbacks on this mounted so for that I want that before any new like new rendering or new uh, like uh, component changes I just want to clear up some stuff so I can define that stuff here so let's see if I'm gonna receive a callback here or not so initially like I will refresh this page so use effect you got the notification that you, the component has been mounted and uh, once I click on those that photos then you will see here that you have received component unmounted so what is uh, what it like does is that it firstly it clear up the uh, stuff th from the like previous effect and then only it renders the next listing like I can I can define the listing type here and you will see initially it was users and for the photo before the photos it's it just like unmounted the effect from the the previous state so yes guys this was all about the use effect react hook i hope you are like you will be able to use this react hook as per your need like as per the life cycle method or uh, as per your need in accordance with the changes in the state or we can say the changes in the props like if you are receiving anything from the props you can define that here that if this data change then only you will get a get a call uh, data get a callback on this method and i think it's pretty amazing and simple to use this kind of like uh, react hook and if you like really enjoyed this video and uh, like the uh, use effect react hook then please like this video and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe thank you for watching